Do you remember what it was like to be a kid and to not get an invite into that birthday party or to be excluded from your friend group or to experience one of those like young kid kind of rejections that caused you to wonder, am I loved? Am I liked? Do I have a place here? I haven't gotten the chance to have kids yet, but I would imagine that when I do, that would be one of the most heartbreaking things is to watch your kid not get included or to experience that feeling of not being wanted. And one of those things that I've experienced as I've gotten older is that some of the things in life that cause us some of the great heartbreaks are actually really good windows of opportunity to lean into the presence of God because some of the ways that the world fails us by making us feel rejection or being unwanted or being unloved are actually ways that when God comes in and he offers those things to us, it's completely unfailing and completely unchanging. God is perfectly loving. He wants us. He has purpose for us. He entrusts us. He chooses us. And he does that perfectly all the time. When the world gives us a little dose of rejection, God is waiting to offer you a kind of love that we're craving and that we want to experience through him. One of the things that I've come to do as an adult is anytime that I'll experience some kind of a rejection from the world, I'll try my hardest to lean in to whatever thing I'm wanting, lean into God to get that thing. I have a scripture for you to remind you anytime that you feel rejection or not being chosen or that feeling of not being wanted or loved, you have a God in heaven who loved you so much that he sent his son for you. John chapter three, verse 16 through 17. These are verses that we've all memorized. Even people who are in church memorize these verses. And we say them sometimes without even registering what they fully mean. But I want us to apply meaning to these verses today. John 3, 16 through 17 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. For God so loved the world, for God so loved you, for God so loved me, that he sent his one and only son. He sent his son Jesus to to this earth to live and to die on the cross, to rise from the dead. And in that one single action, you and I have the forever invitation to have eternal life with God. We have an invitation from God to run to his arms, to find salvation in him. And so we can trust when we read verses like this, that even if we experience rejection and hurt, from the world and the people around us, we have a God who loves us endlessly. He loves us all the time, and he is the God that came down to earth to invite you in to be with him.